Welcome to MTV XP. I'm David, and today, not only are we going to put the fork back together, we're going to increase the travel to 160. And based on my loose research and the links down in the description, we're also going to make an oil bath. So let's get started. First, you're going to need a 4mm, 5mm, and 6mm hex wrench, a 24mm socket and wrench, a shock pump, gram butter, quarter inch and 5 16th inch nylon washers, something to measure the oil with. I'm using a syringe I got from the drugstore. SAE80 gear oil, low viscosity synthetic oil. First, grease up the lower leg of the damper, put a good amount of grease on the threads and o ring, and then install with a 24mm socket. Again, be careful here, if you torque it too much, you'll strip the bolt. To adjust the travel, it's either going to be removing one or both of the rubber spacers. Each rubber spacer is going to be about 10 millimeters of travel. To get 160 millimeters of travel, I would have to remove both spacers. There is a risk here, the plastic spring retainer could break when you remove the rubber cushion between that and the metal retaining screw. So I'm going to try for just 150 millimeters of travel. Birdie to tie, eagle to win, gutless wonders lane. <laughs> Grease up the air spring, the rod, the springs, and the o-rings. Then carefully insert back into the stanchion. I changed my mind. I'm gonna go 160. I am dangerous. Grease up the retaining screw well so they don't have to use the stove next time to remove it. And then be careful torquing it down. Install the rubber stopper. Using Centaur's recommendation for a better air seal, I'm using 10 milliliters of gear oil in the air chamber. Grease and reinstall the air valve. Soak the foam rings. Grease the inside of the dust seals. Some grease on the bottom of the stanchions to ease insertion. Make sure you use five millimeter tall foam rings. I tried 10 millimeter foam rings and they just didn't fit. Insert the upper into the lower and pump some air in. So with both spacers removed, I have about 6 inches to travel or 152 millimeters. Not quite 160, but it's the max I can get. This is where we're going to get experimental by creating an oil bath at the bottom of the fork. We're going to add 15 milliliters of low viscosity synthetic oil into each leg of the fork. Add the nylon washers to each bolt and then start torquing them down. Before screwing on the lockout cap, set the fork to a locked out position, place the cap on accordingly, and then screw it down. Let the fork on some paper towels to see if there be any leaks, and after 24 hours, no leaks. And here it is, put back together, reinstalled onto the bike. I can say that it works fine, no issues. I can actually feel the difference with extra travel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.